I have never worked at a museum that was not haunted. It's just, it's a disturbing thing that people don't really think about the number of spirits that actually come along with the objects or come to see their objects that they are just mm-hmm. popping in and out. But it's a constant thing and the known secret when you start working in them, especially if you're working in security. So what's the reality of crossing over? Is there even really a crossing over? What happens when we die? Because what I've been raised with is different than I think the reality of it. And so clarifying that, I think, for especially for our listeners, is probably an important thing to do. So from what I have been able to see, crossing over as you see in the movies, go into the light, be free, your soul is gone, and you completely stop existing in this plane. That is not the reality for pretty much any of the spirits that I've ever dealt with. Mm-hmm. It's just simply not how they function. It seems there's a sort of a time period generally. Depending on how one dies, one will either immediately cross, the soul will cross the, the veil between the worlds, if you will. But that is not to say that they cannot come back at will. Now, I've seen times where there was a violent death or where there was an unexpected death where the person doesn't quite realize they're dead for a while, sometimes up to a month where they hang out here before they cross, and then they can start coming back and forth as it is. Mm 